So um, practice exam, this is something that you can access once, uh, um, once you unlock the exam module after having completed the week three module. And uh, so I tell this to people uh, who do the, the video chat for the option B exam. And I think I realized this kind of last semester that I was inadvertently putting some people taking the in-person exam at a bit of disadvantage by not telling you this information that, or not having an opportunity to tell you this information directly. Then I tell to everyone who's doing the option B exam video chat. So let me do this now here so that at least people who are watching this video will know this. <laughs> so this is uh, the information about how this practice exam is constructed. So let me go through a little um, song and dance that I do for people doing the option B video chat. So in this part of the option B video chat, which takes about five minutes, or the part takes five minutes, I do this. I answer a few questions here to demonstrate um, what kind of experience the practice exam is like and um, how it gives you very little feedback, no indication you got it right or not. That's the distinction between the homework and uh, this, um, um, this practice exam. And it's meant to simulate what you see when you're taking the online exam, that you get very little uh, feedback. And that's how, you know, paper exam goes like. So let me answer at least one question right for sure. I've been answering at random. Pothrona acceleration is the same at all points in the motion, downward edge. All right. Okay, so when you're all done, then you can click here to see a summary of your scores. And this is the only feedback you get on the practice exam. It looks like this. So it tells you if you got the question wrong, or right, and when you get it right, then great. Um, you know what the correct answer is, and hopefully you know why it's correct. You are just, uh, excuse me, guessing at random. But you might hope that when you got it wrong that the question would give you what the correct answer is. And I have deliberately chosen not to show the correct answer, and that is for this reason. The exam, the questions you see here are the exam questions, the actual exam questions in this sense. I use, for the, for the online exam, I use something called the uh, question pool. So online exam has 70 multiple choice questions. And I have something like 140 questions set aside for the exam. The system pulls 70 at random and gives them to you as your personal version of the exam. And after I set up the exam that way, when I was looking for a way to set up the practice exam, I thought, hey, what's better practice than the real thing? So I used the same exam, same question pool uh, for the practice exam. So you, every question you see here, there's about 50% chance that it will appear on your real exam. So because of how this is set up, I didn't want there to be a way for people to just uh, print off a bunch of answers because that would be kind of... Well, it would be stupid of, that, of me to set up the practice that way because the people can basically have an answer key printed out. So, so that's why it doesn't show you the answer. You can figure out what the answer is once you get it right. And uh, so I recommend that people attend to this as many times as you have time for. Um, usually, especially if you're, well, I would say minimum of four times. If you try this four times, you have a decent chance at seeing why the variety of questions. You probably won't have seen all the questions in the question pool, but you'll have seen enough that uh, when you take the actual exam, wh whether in person or online, in person it's only 35 questions, but it again still comes from the same pool. You won't be surprised by a question that uh, over type and difficulty that you have never seen before. And when you reattempt, you will see here, so note that this is the first question here. But when I reattempt, you will usually see a different first question because the system uh, gets a new set of 35 questions. And sometimes just by sheer luck of the chance, you will get the actual same questions, but um, there shouldn't be more than two or three of those in the set of 35. So, um, so that's the basic information about practice exam. And in however much time remains, unless there are specific questions that people want me to answer, 
I was just going to work through these questions. Don't know if I have enough time to work through all 35, but I'll just start at the beginning. And I guess I'll just jump around. I know it's how it's kind of broken down. First, the three questions are on chapter one. And I think next, the 14 questions are on chapter um, two. And then the remainder of the questions are on chapter three. So I'll try to skip around a little bit to divide enough of the time. But um, all right, so I have about 10 minutes remaining and I probably use, should use some of that time, that time to um, answer four questions. But before that, let's just quickly check if I missed anything. So click here to see a summary. And it will only show me basically results for the questions I did answer. The first two questions, right? Correct, good. And uh, that answer. Oh, I answered the question three, or rather, I didn't answer it. I don't know why it's marking it as correct. Oh, I think I know why, because I think it, you know, I don't know why. I have no idea. It does say zero out of one. I don't know. <laughs> um, the one question I answered, um, okay, so that's right. I skipped this one. Okay, so this looks right. That one was weird. I don't know why it was uh, shown that way. So, all right, so I didn't miss anything, so I don't have to correct anything. Let me go back. And uh, so when I reattempt, the system is actually going to generate a new set of questions. But that's fine. I was going to skip ahead to the fourth part. I think it's either question 17 or 18. Uh, neglecting friction. Hmm. Um, okay, I think that's all the time we have, so let's go to the summary and make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I don't know why it has these things. Um, I clearly didn't attempt them, so, so I have no idea. We'll just ignore them for now. I don't know why they said they're correct. Rest assured on your exam. The only thing that matters is what score you got, not whether you got a check mark or not. So don't deliberately skip stuff on the exam, please. <laughs> it's a score. I don't know why I passed that check mark. So where's the first? Okay, okay, so okay. So good, I got that right. I got that right. <sighs> yeah, this is what happens when you're talking and um, yeah, I can see. Distance is doubled, so it should have been a quarter. Um, so that's the correct answer, sorry, um, when you're talking and distracted. Um, so always double check your work <laughs> and don't make the mistake I did, because it's an inverse, so it, yeah, it's quarter. <laughs> uh, and okay, got that right, and got that right. Yeah, always double check your work, please, even I can, it's all the talking that distracts me. All right, so I think that's all the time I have. I'm going to stop the recording and stay online for a little bit longer to give uh, people who are, who are here an opportunity to ask questions. And um, yeah, um, so for those of you who are joining by uh, recording the video later, um, thank you for watching through the end and I will see you at the exam. Bye.